Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Joined here today with Las Vegas attorney Ryan Alexander. Ryan, the question I get a lot is somebody has a house, they're stopped making their payments, and they ask me as a real estate agent, what should I do? Should I do a short sale? Should I let it foreclose? Or should I declare bankruptcy? So when, first of all, how do you talk to somebody who the only problem financially they have is the house? How do you, like, what, how does that look? Well, if someone has only their house as their, their main debt and they don't have credit cards, they don't have medical debt, they don't have those things, um, bankruptcy is probably not their best choice. And it might be in some situations. Okay. There, are, there are situations where it is, but I'd really look first at other non-bankruptcy solutions. Uh, you know, consider a loan modification if they want to try and stay in the house and that's what they're, that's what they're trying to get. If they're trying to leave the house, um, you know, and this is late 2012, certainly short sale is the main objective then. Okay. If they want to get out of the house and that's their only debt, I really push a short sale and I, and I refer them out to, to brokers like Nevada Realty because that will resolve the debt. You know, the short sale contract is an agreement to let them out of the house right. and let them out of the debt with no deficiency. Uh, and so if they're worried about the deficiency, that's the way to handle it. I would only suggest a bankruptcy if only they only owe <clears throat> on the house, only if the house is already taking legal action against them to collect a deficiency. So okay. that would assume that they've already either lost the house or a second, you know, and I have seen that a fair bit where a second mortgage uh, defaults and actually files a lawsuit to collect on the second mortgage and they're still in the house. So they're not even trying to NOD and foreclose, they're just filing a lawsuit, right? Correct, yeah. There was a rash of that, especially in, in 2011 and early 2012, where the second mortgage would get sold off to another company and instead of trying to foreclose, because they're second in line, and as you know, right. you know, if they're second mortgage, if they foreclose, they get zero. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, because the house value is less than the first. So, instead of just doing that, I've seen them just sue like a credit card does and try and collect money. And, and so, in that case, uh, a, a bankruptcy might be something you look at. But if, you, if your only debt is your house and you have less than 15000 or so mm -hmm. in other debt, I usually try and steer people away from bankruptcy, you know, and 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 so if people and, and that's pretty common. People come in, they only own their house, they don't have credit cards, or it's less than ten or fifteen thousand. I usually tell them, hey, look, go talk to a short sale specialist. Uh, that's really what you want. Okay, good. Um, if somebody, so it's very, it 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 sounds to me like it's case by case basis. Correct. Somebody needs to like if. They meet with you. Do you charge them for that? How does that first meeting work typically? No. If someone wants to have a consultation on anything for bankruptcy or their financial situation, it's totally free. I'll usually spend 20 minutes to a half an hour with a family and, and go over what their financials are. You'll fill out a little questionnaire for me that will give me a, a snapshot of what's going on for you. And then you'll tell me your objective. What do you want to happen? And then I tell you how you can get there. What do they need to have prepared or like ready to tell you for that first conversation? They don't have to, people don't have to bring a lot for the initial consultation. I tell people if you're interested in bankruptcy, start getting three years taxes, six months bank statements, and six months pay stubs together. But really, if you're, if you're coming in for a mortgage problem, probably your mortgage statements on all of your mortgages. And, uh, and then you'll fill out the paperwork that I have uh, to give me the rest of the information. I don't, need a, I don't need a lot of specific exact numbers, just kind of general numbers are as good enough and we can figure out from there. Okay. Um, if they want to get in touch with you, who, what do they do? They can give me a call at 702-222-FIRM. That's 702-222-3476. Okay. And we'll set you up for a free consultation. You'll meet with me personally. I do all the consultations. Sweet. And, uh, and uh, I'm the attorney that handles the case from start to finish. You'll meet with me, and I'll be the one going to court with you as well. Somewhere over here. Over there, you can't see it on the wall. He's got his... Uh... 
law degrees from Harvard University, et cetera. So you obviously know what you're doing, right? Uh, well, done we've, done a, we've done a few hundred <laughs> now. Uh, you know, we're, we're pushing 500 cases now, so we're, I think we're pretty comfortable. Okay, awesome. Hey, right. thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, Attorney Ryan Alexander here in Las Vegas uh, can answer all your bankruptcy questions. I, I can't. I'm a real estate agent. I don't answer those questions, so please don't ask me. Um, that's my update for today and hope to see you on another video. Thanks. Right. Thank you, Todd. Yeah.